Free kick, which Kevin Hurd will try and direct towards Barnes and Hart, who's gone up. It's away by Lee. And now Liverpool have got three up against two. This is Dalgleish. Good ball for Whelan. Must be a chance here for the Irishman. Already wasted it. He'll be disappointed with that. The clearest opening they've had. Kennedy. Looking to get Dalglish going, but Hart, in good form in the middle of the Leeds defence, was there first. So as we're going to the last five minutes of the first half, it's Liverpool once more. Robbed by Cherry, though. Sunes can find Rush. He's in such excellent form. Back for Neil. Here's Sunes. He'll surely have a crack. And gets it right. <laughs> Splendid goal from Graham Sunes. It's been threatening. And when the opportunity came, there was no way he was going to miss it. The right foot was lethal. Sunes gets his fourth goal of the season. 1 0 to Liverpool. And there is the whistle for half-time. Well, I must say the first 40, 40 minutes were absolutely sterile here, with neither side able to achieve a breakthrough, but Liverpool struck with all their customary deadliness five minutes before half-time, and it was Graham Souness with that lethal right-footed shot. There is Graham Souness that gives Liverpool that half-time lead, which I think they just about deserve on the balance of the play. The Leeds are certainly playing with more enterprise in this second half. And that's a good ball for Hurd, good skill. Connor loses out and it's going to be picked up by Rush. And here they come again. In the words of the song. Lee. And he's got red shirts all over streaming up. In the end, he picks out Whelan on the left. There are four of them waiting in the box. Here's one of them, Delgleish. He leaves it for Hansen Shirley, number two, and denied by Butterworth. Well, how much time did they want? And how many players did they want? There were five of them there, and they couldn't make it count. Well, he must have wondered where Butterworth came from. Sunes. Dalglish. Good long ball as well for Lee. And a little ball forward for Rush, trying to get the turn. It could still fall for him. Oh, it did. Oh, Ian Rush took it so well, he got a rather lucky bounce, but then he capitalised his 22nd goal of the season, his 10th in 10 games, and the smiles tell it all. And that surely is going to wrap it up and send those supporters back to Merseyside happy tonight. Ian Rush makes it Leeds nil, Liverpool 2. Leeds have now got a mere 12 minutes to rescue anything from this one. It's not often Liverpool give two away in 12 minutes. Connor. The ball to Graham. He's got inside Whelan. Has to take him on again and can't do so. What's more, the throw in has gone to Liverpool as well. Soonest. Wanted Rush to go on a long run. In fact, he's found Dalgleish and Lee is completely unmarked on the right here. If he can get the ball through to him, as he surely must, and he's straight offside. Strong as Ronnie Whelan, he could go all the way himself here, one feels. Instead he turns it wide for Rush, the little cross is for Whelan. The header was straight at Lukic. Well, the ball was played down to Ian Rush from Whelan, and as the Welsh international got the cross in, Whelan it was who ducked in low, got the header in, but straight at John Lukic. Heard. Graham looking for the big men to go up, and Burns is there, and can he burn, because he made it, oh! Well, he must wonder how on earth the ball didn't go in then. As the ball was floated across by Arthur Graham, Bruce Grobbler, I think, came too far, really, he committed himself, and once Kenny Burns went up for the header, 
he was dead was Grobelar, but the ball just floated the wrong side so far as Kenny Burns was concerned. Well, that you feel proves it's not Leeds' day. So Cherry didn't seem to have more possession strangely in these last few minutes. But now Cherry tackled from behind by Del Gleish. No offside flag, it rushes away. Graham's with him. Has he got the power and the pace? Well he had, but the shot was too weak to trouble Lukic. Oh, the control of now they really are sweeping the ball around Liverpool. All the old arrogance is coming out. Two goals to the good. And Lee. We find their men inside the penalty area with so much ease. Heard. Oh, what? They got as far as Connor. They want somebody to move with him. What a good ball from Connor to Barnes. Right inside Phil Neal it went. Now Barnes with the cross. It's going to be too far, but maybe not for Butterworth if he strikes it right. Well, you all saw what happened. He didn't strike it right. Barry Murphy just explaining what should have happened. This must be agonising for Clark. Oh, well won again by Paul Hart. It's a little bit unfair against Paul Hart's record today. The Bean Rush should have scored against him. fell to Lee still nearly did and the chase down the middle for Burns couldn't quite get there that's exactly a cultured clearance from Phil Neal well, that's a cultured ball from Sunes to Kennedy all right finding Dalglish in space Kennedy has carried on the run and turns his man nicely as well Whelan's going down the flank. Dalgleish in space. And Kennedy, corner kick. Liverpool always find their men so well in the danger area, which is the last quarter of the field. They seem to pick out their colleagues with terrific regularity, which is why, of course, they score so many goals. And this, by the way, will be their 12th away win in all competitions this season, which is quite remarkable. Dalgleish then with the corner kick, looking for Whelan at the near post, trying to get a back flick, and Cherry wouldn't let him. Now Butterworth, he's got Barnes on the left, here is Peter Barnes, and if nothing else, let's see him have another run just before the end of the game. Connor, Heard, finding Graham, who's had a bit more space in the second half on that right touchline. Good cross to Butterworth, Connor! the top well Terry Connor might have just uh, snatched at that chance but at least he had a crack at goal as Butterworth chested it down to him he moved down the right Arthur Graham putting in the cross and as Butterworth just puts his chest on and tucks it back Connor blasting it over the top the good ball back for Lawrence who's continued his run and will take them all on himself a good score Mark Lawrence in there, just going through the middle, all on his own. Leeds defenders held off him, and he could well have scored the third goal. Well, time is up on the clock, so whatever is played now by Mr Flint is for injuries. So Stevenson for Leeds, Cherry, and at long last it comes out to Barnes, who plays it straight back to Gray. Nice little one-two with Burns, and Frank Gray pitching it out to the right to Arthur Graham. He's had a lot of these sort of crosses today. Butterworth chests it down for Hurd. That's a good move. Graham across the goal. Oh, how did that stay out? Burns couldn't get the touch, and in the end it was hoofed over the top by Lawrenson. So, corner for Leeds taken by Barnes, right at the death here. Leeds really deserved a goal there. 
they're not going to get one. The referee, in fact, looking at his watch, and there goes the final whistle. Very little injury time played, and I don't really think anyone can deny Liverpool's right to the points this afternoon. The handshake beneath us between Alan Clark and Joe Fagan. And once Liverpool took the lead through uh, uh, Graham Souness after 40 minutes, it was Liverpool's game all the way. Ian Rush sealed it all 12 minutes from time with a second goal, and Liverpool go marching on.